Today, we're going to look at arthritis. And in our society, we're getting a lot of uh, issues with arthritic conditions. And the two most uh, popular forms of arthritis in Barbados is osteoarthritis and rheumatoid. You find that if with um, arthritis, a lot of the hands and the joints are affected. Muscles, tendons as well. I'm sure you an exercise. We call it in our Tai Chi Qi Gong, we call it the octopus, okay? And it helps to uh, reduce the pain of arthritis in the hands and also carpal tunnel syndrome. And Sifu Denny will show you the front view and I'll show you a side view, okay? So I'll start first with the front view first. You're gonna come like this and we're gonna come back. We call it the octopus swimming, okay? Now I'm gonna show you the side view of it. The octopus swims, and it comes back like this. It's called the octopus. So most arthritis, you find it's, it's a degeneration of uh, the, the uh, tendons and the cartilage. Whereas in rheumatoid, it's mostly uh, autoimmune uh, disease, okay? This is the motion here. And try the other hand, the same thing. Extend out and pull back. Why we want balance? So this helps you. So you know any, anyone that has a condition, I'm going to show you the side view again here. The octopus swims here. So it goes out and comes back. Okay? That's one exercise. There's another one. We call it waving. But not like the queen, like this, waving, or the king. This waving is where the knuckles now, you're going to see the knuckles come down. So my thumb will come down, then the index finger comes down, then this knuckle, this knuckle, and this knuckle. Watch it again. Okay, so with me, ready? Let's go. I'm going to wave down. So the knuckles move like this. So you're moving the fingers, the other hand, the same thing. The thumb, this knuckle, this knuckle, this knuckle, this knuckle. Like this. When I, when I used to live in the States, in the USA, my students, my, my Qigong students, we used to go to hospitals and we would massage patients who had arthritis. And we would give them Qigong treatments where we would stand and we would try to uh, heal and to balance the energy fields and they had a remarkable differences where they found that the pain has been reduced a lot. So these are things that you can do. Also, when you have issues in your back as well, you can also kind of just move the hands around like this. We'll cover that in more detail when we go to the, the chronic back issues. What we want to look at is osteoarthritis is a degenerative disease and it definitely affects the joints. The rheumatoid arthritis deals with like inf the inflammation, the swelling around the actual joints, okay? And there are certain foods that people say help. You can take things like cayenne, pepper, and you could actually rub cayenne in oil and rub it, say you have arthritis in, in the knees and you rub and you massage the knees and so forth with the cayenne, okay? Rub it in. You have things like alfalfa. They say it's good. Um, devil's claw is another herb that clinical studies in the U.S. says helps. Again, there's a lot of research that needs to be done. Now, nutrition is very important. And because of the depletion of nutrients in the soil, we're going to have a lot of conditions. So, things like nitrogen, phosphorus, um, 
they're being put into the soils, but what about iron? What about all the other proteins, the other nutrients? So basically, nutrition is very important because there are studies that claim that what we eat affects the arthritic conditions that we have. So we need to look at that, look at the food that we eat. Could it be wheat? I'm not sure. Could it be soya? Could it be corn? Um, what conditions would make the body's antibodies or the immune system attack itself? You see, these are the kind of things we need to actually do. But until then, take care of yourself. Watch what you eat. Rotate those joints. Drink plenty of water and move. Move, move.